welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. I am very excited today because we are going to be doing another green eyeshadow look. I haven't done one since Christmas, but of course we have St. Patrick's Day and I just wanted to create a wearable green look, kind of like the one I did for Christmas, but a little bit more noticeably green. That one was a little bit more subtle. This time we're gonna amp it up a little bit and make it a little more smoky because, I mean, most St. Patrick's Day parties are at night. I just thought this would be fun. I love celebrating holidays. Anything I can do to celebrate, I, I just get excited about holidays. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm also excited because we are gonna be diving back into this beautiful palette here. This is the Tarte Glamour palette. So if you'll remember at Christmas time, I bought this set. It was the Gilded palette, which was a little bit more neutrals. And then this Glamour palette, which had a little bit more color in it. And I had such a fun time creating all types of holiday looks with these palettes. And I haven't used them since the holidays. They feel extra special to me. I mean, I know I can use them anytime, but the rest of my makeup is already on. So we're just gonna get into it here. We're gonna start with this shade here, Charm. And we're gonna put it all over the eyes. You know what? I better get in closer so you can see. We are gonna go in with this shade here charm all over the eyes to kind of set my eyeshadow primer. I use the Anastasia one today. It's perfect. And now I'm going to take this fluffy brush here and go into the crease with this more kind of gray toned shade here. It's called Empire. We're just going to take that all in the crease. I washed my brushes two days ago, and for some reason, this one kind of dried sort of wonky. Go back in with the other side. Now this is where we're really, really deviating from the Christmas look because we are gonna take this very green shade graphic all over the lid. I know, kind of crazy for me. I'm normally more of a neutrals girl, but it's St. Patrick's Day, right? We gotta. Let me know down below how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And even more so, if you are Irish from Ireland, or I guess it doesn't have to be from Ireland, but if you have some deep Irish roots, how do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? And also, how do you feel about the way Americans celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Because I was thinking about that and I was very curious. I am a tiny, tiny, tiny bit Irish, like, one thirty second or something like that. I don't love the way that this is putting on the shadow, so we're gonna use a different brush here. We're gonna use this thicker blending brush. So this palette was limited edition. So I thought about not using it, but it really has the best greens that I have. I have maybe one other palette that has some greens in it, but I just wanted this to be as authentic what I would actually use as possible. This is definitely out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. We want it to be noticeable. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that fluffy crease brush and just go back in with the crease. I didn't put any more product on it. I just wanna make sure that we're very well blended here. All right, we're looking green. Not that easy being green. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this kind of navy green slash blue shade. Noir for the outer corner. So like I said, I love holidays, which is what prompted this video. Um, but I've especially loved St. Patrick's Day since being with my husband. I mean, ever since we were dating because one of two things happens. Either his family has like a St. Patrick's party or which is funny because they're not Irish at all. But now I'm, <laughs> TJ's so excited because he's like, yeah, but my wife's Irish. I'm like, yeah, one like 30 second or something. It's not much or we watch movies and eat corned beef and cabbage which that happens no matter what my husband is a cook that's what he does for a living so his food is always amazing i love it it's funny because growing up i mean we'd always wear green and we might watch a couple movies but i feel like my husband's family really goes all out and it's it's super fun i like it now I'm gonna go back in with that same brush we used on the crease and go back into the crease. We just wanna make sure everything is blended together really well. 
All right, now I'm excited because we're gonna get into my favorite part, which is the shimmer shades. We're gonna go in with this shimmery green shade, which is called Steel. Steel. Or do I wanna do that? You know what, no, I think it's a little bit dark. I wanna go in with this lighter green shade, Rare, all over the lid. Just going in with my finger. Oh yes, love this. This is bringing kind of more of an olive -y more wearable tone to the whole thing, which I like. Good choice, Haley. I am, if you follow me on Instagram, you've been following along a little bit better, but um, go follow me there if you're not. You kind of get more real time updates. I'm doing a lot of pre-filming because I volunteered to do Saturday school. I mean, I'm not volunteering, I'm getting paid to do it, but for 10 weeks, like basically till the end of school, when I get back from spring break, which is what I'm on right now, which is another part of why I love St. Patrick's Day is it always falls on my spring break, which is really nice. Because of that, I'm gonna have way less time for filming, right? Because that's on Saturdays and that's normally when I film. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that brush we use for the outer corner and now I'm gonna go in with to that shimmer shade steel. I love these, I really love these palettes. The quality is so good, but I also love the size. Like I kind of wish every eyeshadow palette would be this compact. Go into the outer corner with that. Oh yes. Oh, so pretty, I love it. Was I saying, oh yes, yeah, Saturday school. So I wanna keep up with videos because you guys, I cannot believe it. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back in with my finger with that rare shade, that more olivey green shade, um, just to help blend everything back together. And of course I am getting some fallout, but we'll make sure that that gets away. Again, I'm gonna go in with that brush we use for the crease and just Keep blending, make sure everything looks good. There's no harsh lines. Okay, now I wanna take this flatter brush and we're gonna go in with the lightest green tinted shade called Gleam for the inner corner. And a kind of an inner corner highlight too. Just kind of drag that down and up here. And then I'm just gonna take my finger, it's it's pretty clean, not a whole lot of shadow on it anymore, and just go over that to help blend everything together. I might take a little bit more of that rare shade, that lighter green shade. Go over it one more time. So pretty. What do you guys think? So this is the initial shadow. Don't worry, we're still gonna be adding some more to it. I'm gonna add a glitter topper to this. <laughs> I'm putting a very expensive glitter topper on my favorite glitter topper from this Pat McGrath palette, but you could use anything. There's tons of ones from the drugstore you could use. I just wanna, again, be authentic in terms of like what I would actually use if I was going for a pretty glam look. This is my um, Divine Rose palette. So I'm just gonna take some of this on my index finger. This is seriously my favorite glitter topper. I use this on my wedding day. And we're just gonna pat this on top for a little extra something. And really we're just gonna leave it at that. We're not gonna add much more. I just want this to also glamorous because I'm me. What I love about the shimmer or the glitter topper in this specific palette we're gonna leave it at that. But what I love about it is that it's really, really finely milled. It doesn't look like it in the pan, but it is really finely milled. And it just looks so gorgeous on the eyes. Even in our wedding photos, they, it looked so pretty. I was so happy that I went with that one. Now we're gonna go in with some liquid liner. I have actually really been enjoying the Stila. Uh, my mind has kind of changed on this one. It's really great for creating the initial wing. And then I'll show you what we're gonna use as a topper to go over it. I feel like my hair, I don't know what to do with it today. It's just like a felt tip. I just love how quick and easy it is to make a wing with this liner. I feel like when you want a really precise wing, this is the kind of liner that you want. Don't get me wrong, I still love my NYX Epic Ink. That one's a brush tip. I would say if you want really 
nice like big bold wings go with that one if you want more precise wings use this one I find wings so hard to do without a table to rest your arms on, but I'm trying to do it because people always ask me how I make my wings and I never show you on camera because I have such a hard time when I don't have something to like steady me. I do think that that's probably my most requested video and short is people will comment and say, can you show us how you do your wings? And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't actually feel like I'm that good at doing wings. It tends to take me like, 15 minutes and I just they they end up how they end up is is really I, I make them as close as possible and besides that I mean usually how it turns out is not how I necessarily intended them to be but my eyes are two different shapes actually this looks pretty good though they look pretty even don't they but yeah my eyes are two different shapes so that's what's what's really hard is like you're not going to be able to make them exactly the same to make them look the same when i'm just relaxed you know but because they're two different shapes that's why i'd say that liquid liner is one of my holy grail can't live without it makeup products because i really think it helps make my face look more symmetrical not that you have to do that but and i just like it all right i think that this is actually pretty even i cannot believe it i i did it on camera i can't believe it let's now do the lower lash line we're gonna use two different liners for the waterline the lower waterline just because it sounds fun i'm gonna start off with a black and i always warm this one up with my hand because it doesn't always show up that pigmented the first time this is the l'oreal Le liner signature always kind of warm it up with my hand but once you do that it's it's really pigmented this liner's on its last leg of not wanting to stay it's wanting to like pop back inside if that makes sense so okay we'll do that and then other side Now we're gonna see how this works. I'm gonna actually add some kind of brownish gold as well. I have this Il Maquillage Kathleen Lights liner. These are like so good. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be good because this is kind of bronzy gold, which we have specks of that in the eyeshadow. So I think it might look nice to kind of put this also on top. Oh yeah. These are so creamy and they stay on so freaking well, you guys. I'm actually really glad that I bought the whole collection because I love these eyeliners. I kind of wish they made she made a black one too. You know what? Let's bring this one all the way in. What do we think? Does that look crazy? I kind of love it, not going to lie. And we are going to add more to this lower lash line, you guys. So I'm going to take this flat brush and we're going to go back into Noir and Graphic and just kind of smoke out this lower part. So almost kind of covering up the black, but I'm still glad that we included that. Now, I don't love the Stila liquid liner on its own just because I don't think it's pigmented enough. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on top of that liner with this Lime Crime Venus liner in the shade Dahlia. This is so, so pretty. I don't love it to create the wing because I don't like um, brush on it that much, but it's really great as a topper. Like just look at that difference. It's also more matte as well. Now, because this is so matte, it's very sticky and it kind of sticks your lashes together. So I also kind of will very gently run through my lashes with my fingers. And normally if I have a makeup remover wipe with me, I'll kind of rub my fingers on that first and then do this just because you don't want your lashes sticking together with the mascara. And there I can show you guys how 
notice how that's coming off my lashes that's the eyeliner so you might say it's it's a lot of work and it, it is a lot of extra work but honestly i think it's worth it for the overall effect that it gives all right we're gonna grab the mascara and we are gonna be using fake lashes but i always use mascara first this is the milani highly rated lash extensions mascara i seriously this has become my new favorite mascara I love it. It's a very wet formula, so it tends to transfer, but once it transfers once and you take it away after it dries, it doesn't do it again for the rest of the day, which is really nice. This does not smudge on me one bit, which is like after that initial. If you watch that video, I can link it below. I like took a nap with it on, I was in the rain, and it did not smudge at all, which is kind of amazing. I wish it volumized just a little bit more, but honestly, I'll take it. And now I'm just gonna take what's left over for the bottom lashes. And on the other side. But notice it's transferring a little bit on this side, so we're just gonna let that dry. And we're gonna go in with lashes. So right now, the only lashes I have, which are one of my favorites, it's the Kiss So Wispy in their pixie style. I already have some pre-cut. And my new favorite lash glue is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with aloe or aloe, as we say in Hawaii. I'm just gonna apply this. And then I'm just gonna take tweezers and apply these. This glue dries down really quickly, which I appreciate. It means you can apply the lashes a lot faster. There we go. All right, and now the other side. This might have dried already. I might need to add more. My right eye is smaller than my left, so it's always harder to apply my left, my right, I mean. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over the lash band a little bit with the Stila. I don't wanna use the other liner because I don't want the fake lashes to stick together. Now, so I'm just gonna take the spoolie on the end of this CoverGirl brow product and just take away this transfer of this mascara. And like I said, once you do this one time, I never have to do it again. This is the only time it transfers because it's such a wet formula. And once again, for me, it's worth it to have it last all day long. Okay, you guys, this is the final eye look. I love it. This is so wearable. This is so stinking pretty. I am in love with this. My gosh, you guys, what do you think? I love this. I can't wait to create this again on Friday. This is Monday when I'm filming this. I hope that this was helpful for you and really just more than anything, I hope it was fun for you. I love celebrating holidays and I didn't do a Valentine's Day look, so this is me kind of making up for it, sort of, with my green St. Patrick's Day look. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe and give it a like. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.